Good morning. My name is Cindy Hooper, and I live in Canada with my husband, John, and my two wonderful sons. I've always been a healthy, active person. I love to swim, bike, run, and compete in Ironman triathlons. I was actually in the best shape of my life when on January 2nd, 2013, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. I had very few signs and symptoms, none of the risk factors, and no significant family history of cancer. We were completely shocked and devastated. And of all cancers to get, pancreatic cancer has an extremely high mortality rate. Average survival is only six months. 75% die within the first year of their diagnosis. Fortunately, my tumor had not spread from my pancreas, and I went through a seven and a half hour surgery called Whipple's that removed half of my pancreas, a third of my stomach, my gallbladder, and part, part of my small intestine. Whipple's is an extremely complex surgery that can only be done at specialized centers. I was very grateful to be able to have it done right here at the Ottawa Hospital. After surgery, I was scheduled for 18 rounds of chemotherapy and 28 days of radiation over a period of seven months. The only way I could escape the horrible routine, fatigue, and nausea of the cancer treatments was to swim, bike, and run. I was already registered for Ironman Canada, and as the months passed, it became incredibly important for me to be able to attempt to complete the four kilometer swim, 180 kilometer bike, and the marathon, while raising money and awareness for pancreatic cancer. On August 25th, 2013, seven months after my surgery, between my 15th and 16th rounds of chemotherapy, I finished Ironman Canada with John. <clears throat> In 16 and a half hours, just 30 minutes shy of the midnight cutoff, it was an incredible day and an unforgettable experience. It turns out that completing an Ironman while on chemotherapy raises a lot of media attention. <laughs> and we were able to raise $48,000 for pancreatic cancer research. <clears throat> The five-year survival rate for pancreatic cancer is only 6%. It's been two and a half years since my diagnosis, and so I feel like each month that passes is another month that I'm cheating death. And while most days I feel super grateful that I'm still alive, I have to admit that other days I'm angry that I got this disease. and sad that I have a folder on my computer called Cancer, filled with Word documents and spreadsheets tracking my new life. I've been healthy enough to do pretty well with my training in the last six months. I qualified for next year's Boston Marathon and the Olympic Distance Triathlon World Championships in Mexico. <clears throat> Coincidentally, in a few hours from now, I'm going over to the Civic for another CT scan, like I do every six months to see if my cancer has returned. That's the worst part for me, my family, and my friends, waiting for the results of the CT scan. Because if my cancer returns, there is no cure. I'll go back onto chemotherapy to slow down the spread until I can't fight it anymore. But I do have some hope. Last spring, I was thrilled to meet Dr. John Bell, a senior scientist here at the Ottawa Hospital. He and his team are developing viruses that kill cancer. These viruses will replace chemotherapy, have substantially fewer side effects, and be more effective. Dr. Bell says it's no longer a question of if we will cure cancer, but when. His research has given me a lot of hope for survival. This is not about wishful thinking. I believe that a cure for cancer is coming, and Dr. Bell and his team are working on when. That's why I wanted to help raise money to support his cancer-killing virus research. Last year, I set a goal to recruit 100 people to run the Ottawa Marathon with me and try to raise $50,000. Our team name was Marathoners Gone Viral, 
And in the end, we had 130 marathoners, and we raised $111,000. I think we're truly fortunate to live in a city that offers world-class health care, and I know that it's because of people like you who support the patient care and research being done at the Ottawa Hospital. And so, if you're able today, please give generously. Thank you. Mm -hmm.